Hey y'all, this is Zach from Meals Under Pressure. All right, tonight I'm gonna be making my really good, really easy chili, because it's got a little bit colder outside. I think it's around 78, 79 degrees. So down here in North Florida, that's considered uh, cold. All right, so just a few ingredients. I got two pounds of this stew meat, all right? Um, if you're just cooking for two people, you can easily get away with, a, with one pound. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually cut these into smaller pieces. So I've got two pounds, I've also got two cans of these uh, kidney beans. Again, if you're only cooking for a few people, you can get away with one of these. So I've got some beef broth. I've got some, a can of Rotel tomatoes, some tomato paste, Lipton onion soup mix. Secret recipe. Yep, and chili powder or chili, sorry, chili um, mm -hmm. season. And then I've got uh, garlic powder and cumin. So what I'm going to do now is I'll go ahead and cut up my uh, my meat, cut it into smaller pieces, and we'll be back. All right, so you can see I cut the uh, meat up a little bit smaller pieces. So I added just a little bit of olive oil in the pot, turn the saute function on. I'm go ahead and I'm gonna brown every side. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper to it. And I'm just gonna brown it, uh, cook it down until every side is brown. So it's gonna take maybe about eight to 10 minutes. And then Back. All right, so we cook the stew meat down. I'm gonna hit the cancel function. It's still while it's, while it's hot, I'm gonna add in my chili seasoning and my lipton onion soup mix. You can scrape the bottom and make sure you don't have anything stuck to the bottom. But I want to get that all mixed nice in there with that juice and kind of cover that meat. It's kind of thickening up that juice. So, all right. Next, I'm gonna take my tomato paste. I'm gonna put that in there. I know it's kind of hard to get everything, but this tomato paste gives it like a deep, a deep flavor. All right, that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. Stirred. Stirred in there. All right. I've got my kidney beans that I've drained and rinsed. And now, and I can of Rotel tomatoes. Now take your broth and you can make it as, as thick or as liquidy, as liquidy or <laughs> sure, this as you nice. want. So that's one can. What do you think, Amy? Want it thicker? Mm -hmm. I mean thinner? Or is that good for you? Well, it's good. Okay. Is that it? Is that all? Yeah, that's one can of broth. I mean that's all we're adding? Yeah. Well I've got I've got two teaspoons of garlic powder and I've got a, a teaspoon of of cumin. All right, that's it. Yeah, that's, I probably would have needed it, but I don't think so. I don't think it's so either. Pretty, uh... All right, take my lid, put it on sealed. Come down, hit the manual button or press grip, whatever you have, and bring it out in five minutes. And that's it, folks. We'll be back. All right, so we did five minutes under pressure and a 10 minute natural release. Folks, that's some real good chili. Again, not too many ingredients. Um, a lot of stuff I already had on, you know, on hand, uh, so I don't have to spend too much at the at the store. So, all right, if you like this recipe, I've got a lot of other recipes on my Facebook group page called Meals Under Pressure, and also on my YouTube channel called Meals Under Pressure. So, we're gonna get down with some chili, and we'll see y'all next time.